Hey everyone, it's your boy John. Today we're gonna do a Lexus. This is my first Lexus, Lexus IS350. I believe it's a 2006. Now, this is how the interior looks right there. Boom, you can see the head unit. Now this head unit actually doesn't work anymore from the factory, the screen just stopped displaying. So we're gonna upgrade it to the iDoing head unit and stick around, I'll show you how to remove and install. Nice. So you can pry this up a little bit with your finger and you can just pull it back. So, uh -huh. side. That's about just two ten, 10 millimeter on each side. So you need a deep socket and an extension, which uh -huh. I got right there. Okay. And then uh, the top, the top this, there's like tabs up here. This thing. Tabs you got, these already pulled down earlier. Let's pull, pull these tabs down. Uh-huh. Just put one right here, one right here. You can see. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it. It's, you see, yeah. those, so you have to pull those down. Pull those down, they get stuck. It's stuck down, but this one, the dealer broke mine, so it, it don't stay down. Cause they replaced my dash, you know? Uh-huh. And then now I gotta I got hold it and uh, somehow I'll yank it out, cause you know. <laughs> yeah, cause it'll get locked up. Oh, nice. I just used this hook and Very cool. Oh yeah, there it looks like there's two tens right two there. Two tens on top, two tens on the bottom. Oh. Alright, so it's a little more towards the inside. Mm-hmm. Little. Alright, I broke it loose. It gives you more room to work though. So I just use my key. And then I uh, just push it down, man. Push it down, man. Put the inner spring on the top. Get it out of the way. And then it should be able to You just pray and pull, and hopefully <laughs> nothing. Dude, that's a big boy. Yeah. <laughs> oh my heavy. gosh. Uh, disconnect all the wires. All right, so this is the iDoing head unit. Obviously, um, we just removed the OEM one right there. Now you're gonna have to take out a lot of those screws so you can mount this one onto the new bracket. Now before we do that, I think we should test fit it, make sure everything works um, before we do all that work. So it's gonna probably sit something like this right here. You can kind of see the basic shape. It's probably, it's gonna have good fitment. All right, so we didn't record um, us taking the bracket off because well, it was a little bit confusing at first. So, so you, you just pretty much unscrewed this one, this one, this one. And these two, or maybe the, uh, there's a basically, you remove all the ones that are hanging up to the bracket and you pop that off right there, do it to both sides. And then after that, you, to remove um, the original head unit from the CD player, you just push it, you push it towards the car. So you see where, at, where we, were, we were doing that? You just put it straight, straight out and you can see the tabs. And it actually requires some force so you gotta push it and you gotta pray those clips don't break because you know, the older the car gets, plastic gets a little brittle, but you can see how the clips are, so you wanna push it. Um, ideally, lift it up a little bit and then push it. That way you can clear these little notches right there. But after that, we can take the, we're gonna need this so we can get some audio on the new one. Now, I will show you how everything is hooked up right now. Um, we have some plugs in right now, but we want to just go through everything before we show it off. All right, guys. So we actually got it to work. AC works, reverse camera, the audio, everything works. And let me tell you how, because this Lexus unit is not um, easy to read. Look, at, It looks like a rat's nest. And let me try to break it down for you. 
Now we have one wire right here. This basically, no, nothing of these are plugged in and then you have this one yellow that's plugged into this called uh, this cable called the back video and this one called cam. So that gives you the reverse camera. All right, now this wire right here controls all the audio functions. So plug this in and you should get power audio. Now it gets crazy because let me tell you why. Yeah, we didn't plug that in. The reason why it's so crazy is because it has to use the bottom half of the Lexus and therefore it's going to need a lot of Y splitting kind of um, things to get audio off of the aux channel. So you plug that in and from the back, let's just see what's plugging from the back because it probably make more sense from the, this side right here. So you have this big harness. This one is for your tire pressure, which we're going to plug in. This one. Now this is a 2006, right? 2006. We plug this one bad boy in and we plug this one, which is only one wire coming out of it. So uh, it's not not much wire and that's it. And then you, you see these big wires right here. From the bottom you wanna plug um, Basically, we have three wires coming out of these, these plugs right here. I know it's kind of hard to read, but trust me, it is really difficult for me to explain it because there's so much stuff going on. But you have this one right here. You have this and this. So you have three plugs, two plugs from the top and then three plugs from the bottom. And those split into the bottom of this head unit right here. Bam and bam. Uh, this wire we said you don't use, we actually, are going to replug this one to the bottom of this head unit right here it's just there's no there's no clearance to show you and plug it in so that one plugs into the bottom of the cd portion of the head unit and after you plug all that in there is one more thing you need to look for there's this can bus now this will give you stereo controls this will give you display when it comes to your climate control and so when you hit the climate control it shows up on the android head unit so there's that so plug in each end right there, boom and boom. And then, yeah, you plug it, you plug those, the last two Y splittings right there. As far as what's coming out of this one, this one is your Wi-Fi antenna. So we have it right there. And then we have uh, this plugged in, but nothing is actually plugged into here. It's just like this. Lastly, the only thing that we really need to do, talk about left is there is if you don't get reverse signal, so when you throw your car in reverse and it does not work, we have an OBD2 plug um, that is included. So you'll see this black wire right here. We have it plugged in with these uh, this, this two pin. So you, and then you, you plug that into the bottom of your car and these two pins will give you reverse trigger, which will turn your car into reverse mode when you throw this into reverse, activating your camera and it works. So we're glad that that's there. And then um, the only thing we're gonna add is there's gonna we're gonna screw on a GPS antenna just in case we wanna use the built-in um, for whatever reason. But we have that and you just, you just pretty much screwed this on right here. and we're set. So that's it when it comes to wiring. I know it is very confusing, but let me tell you the, how we did it and how we pretty much went through it. We pretty much just try to plug in as much things as possible, and um, that's what we did, and, and we got it to work, because you, you just run for, but those are the key wires you need to plug in. Reverse camera, audio, and then you have to, you have to marry it to the bottom of the head unit to get it to work. And we have every functionality working. All right, everyone, this is the full install of the head unit. Ooh, you want to put these trim pieces back on, make it look all pretty. Yeah. All right, everyone, we are done with the Android head unit for the Lexus IS350 2006. Now, when it comes to the color finish right here, it looks like it, it matches close enough. You can see there is not a perfect match, maybe because this degree over time where just the color match isn't. But uh, honestly, it's not an eyesore. It's not like a black matte trim or anything like you would see normally. Now, when it comes to the top fit mitt right here, um, we did have a little issue right here. You can see how there's a, it's not terrible, but it's not like super mount flush right here. Um, 
it's flush on every other corner besides that trim piece. I think maybe we could have pushed the trim piece out a little bit more, but that's how it looks like right there. Um, let's see, when you open the door, it says the door open on both sides, which is great. It has that CAN bus information, hazards. You don't know if you guys can see that or hear it. It's clicking, it's turning on. We have the climate control too. Um, you can move this up and down right now it's on celsius i think in the settings you can change it there's so many things when it comes to the android where you can change and i don't know if you can hear that or feel it or you can't, of course you can't feel it but um it's blowing cold ac's working great did you want to uh, demonstrate that reverse camera boom reverse camera is working straight out of the box so you can put it in park and um volume up and down on the steering wheel controls boom every so that all the can bus all the data stuff is working as in terms of wireless and connectivity it does have apple carplay wireless and android auto wireless right now we're using a one plus uh, is that eight pro or nine pro, nine pro the one nine uh one plus nine pro um and it's working wirelessly android auto it's beautiful if you guys haven't haven't seen how it looks this is how android auto looks like on that you have your maps you can if you install Waze. so any application you install on your phone will show up here so if you had Waze on his phone or teams or um other applications it'll show here so pandora spotify will all de uh, be displayed here and here's just the eye doing interface you can't swipe or left the app drawer is right here you can go through your apps so we had car link that's where android auto lives and apple carplay you have other settings right here and let me just go over some of the unique features about this head unit because it, it still retains the cd player you can actually still use the cd player uh, if, if you go into this settings and it will work through this interface so it's actually you can actually see the tracks moving and um, see the the, tun the tuning knob works right here. So, the, the, which is interesting. So right now in this car, you have two tuning knobs. You have this one right here, and then you also have this one right here. So it depends on what you adjust, because now it's kind of like separated, but it's, it's it's built in. So it's a little bit confusing. But yeah, you have two tuning knobs now, or volume knobs. Uh, as far as other settings goes, let me just go over the system settings if you guys were interested in seeing the device info. Uh, that's some barcode stuff about device. Android 10, this one's using a CPU, an 8-core CPU, which is it's fast, snappy, and yeah, Bluetooth, the latest Bluetooth, and pretty much, um, yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of information on this in terms of all these settings you can do. Um, can you actually turn on your headlights to see if it changes dims? So when you turn on your headlights, did you notice how the screen dims a little bit? You might not be able to see in the camera, but it does show here. And then these lights right here light up and um, you can adjust that set, these settings right here and right here. So if you want it to be red, white, green, I don't know the Lexus colors, but generally you can uh, uh, customize it to fit uh, anything you want. When it comes to mute, so when he threw it in reverse, it actually mutes the audio. In the general settings, you can turn that off because some people want to throw it in reverse and not have their music lowered. That's up to you, but uh, it's there if you need it. There's a lot of functionality, uh, customization you can do right there. But yeah, that's what overall, that's how to install the head unit. It was not an easy thing to do, but um, the mo the wiring wasn't difficult. I would say getting the fitment to be properly aligned was the most difficult part. And that's gonna probably be the most time consuming part of this uh, adventure. Uh, we're, we're still gonna leave the screen protector just so we can mess with the um, alignment a little bit more. And uh, other than that, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys were interested in this product, links down in the description below. And don't forget to smash that like button. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. See you guys in the next video. Peace.